to another video. My name is Kuba. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a fall essentials video. It's my favorite season, so I want to start it off with the basics. And for me, a huge thing when it comes to picking out outfits is comfort. So right now I'm wearing this, if I can step back a little bit, wearing this like mini dress, wearing it with leggings and then like high socks as well too. Let's see if I can go like this. <laughs> and booties um and then just kind of spelted it as well too this top is from asos leopard print and i just really like things that i can just throw on and go out and accessorize them dress them up a little bit but i don't like things that are really um tight fitting things that are uncomfortable especially being a mother you need to be able to move around easily and there are lots of ways to be comfortable without having to wear sweats every day and still look put together. Obviously with sweats you can find ways to accessorize it and look really chic and I love that that is a huge thing that's been in season now. Um, actually pretty much since quarantine happened like all these lounge wear sweats that you can wear outside all of it is coming back into fashion and so you can find some really nice outfits to wear outside and still be comfortable. So the first thing that I think about when I think of fall is colors and texture and so for me i really like black a lot for the winter and fall seasons but if you want to start to incorporate some colors in your wardrobe i'm going to show you guys a couple of items that you can put into your wardrobe kind of mix it up so first is starting with some animal prints so this one it still has black in it it's not too bold it has a little bit of a playful vibe to it so i'm wearing it in a midi skirt so it's still kind of girly and chic but then it's still simple and you can pair it with a black scarf you can wear this kind of color this scarf is from veiled collection i'll link everything below so you guys can shop it yourself and i literally just paired it with leggings and then some booties as well that i've had for a while too um i just kind of like to mix the old with the new and so this is a newer purchase this belt is really old i don't even remember where i got it from but just a nice way to accessorize your outfit so the next essential for me is um, a fur jacket or a fur like sweater anything that's kind of like fuzzy and warm so i'll just show you guys what that looks like throw it on top of this and i just love it because you can throw it on top of a dress you can throw it on top of a t-shirt um, long sleeve whatever kind of how cold you are but it works well with everything and I think I got this in if I can remember I'm pretty sure I got it when I was in Kosovo in Kosovo last year yeah um, so just like a nice fuzzy coat and if I can find I'll link it below for you but you can probably find these anywhere so this is just a black fuzzy jacket and it just goes so well with everything the next thing I think about when I think of fall essentials are trench coats and I just recently bought one from ASOS because I didn't have this color I will show you the two that I have so I have let's see so I had this navy one that I got from Forever 21 a really long time ago it's probably like 10 years old but it's held up over the years it did have a belt that went with it but I have no idea where it went um, but this one I really love and I've just had for a long time the newest one that I got is this ASOS one and it does have a belt with it and I'll show you guys what both of them look like. So this one's kind of cute. It has this kind of like skirt um, effect on it too and if you button it up as well, let me show you guys. I think with the belt being on it's going to be a little bit fitted but it still works. So just to kind of give you guys an idea, um, that's what it looks like and this is like a really old one so I don't know if I'll find it but essentially a trench coat and I like to have a darker one and a lighter one so you can kind of mix and match with your wardrobe and if you watch my previous video which was an ASOS haul before the cuties one um, a more fashion related one I featured this trench coat on there but I will show you guys again so this is what it looks like that's what it looks like so just very so the next fall essential, especially if you're hijabi and you want to wear things underneath items that are lace or sheer or you just want a more modest look, are these layering tees. You can kind of get them anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, wherever. I got these from Shein. They're really inexpensive. If I can find it, I'll link it below as well. And this one's a black one and you can see it's cropped. So it's not something that's hard to tuck into your shirt 
or they can kind of ride a little bit, which I don't mind, um, but they're kind of right at the waist or the hips, and you can layer them underneath um, dresses, you can wear them underneath like more sheer outfits, and I have one in black, and the other one that's in the wash is like a tan whitish color, so just having two of those is really nice, and can make your outfit a little bit more modest because I really like lace and these kind of like nice blouses but sometimes they're a little bit see-through so this is a nice way to make that more modest. So the next thing is blazers. I think it's really essential for the fall time to have blazers. They're just really easy to dress up your outfit without being extra and if you're not really like a dress person or skirt person this is a nice way to put this is a nice way to look put together without trying. And one way to really dress up your um, outfit. I have a few blazers. This one actually my dad gave me and it's kind of like a checkered plaid pattern to it. I like it. it's really really unique and this style is like kind of that, um, I don't want to call it, I don't even this like gossip girl preppy kind of style to it which I like. Something a little bit more unique but it's still a darker color so if you're not someone who really likes to wear bright colors or a lot of animal print or whatever, this is a way to get a nice textured outfit without um, being really extra. <laughs> doesn't really match with this, but I'll show you guys the fit. So another blazer that I have is this kind of white cream color. I want to be a little bit more classic and a little bit more put together. This is a really nice blazer. This is from H&M and it's a little bit of an older blazer. Honestly, I don't even know if it's mine or my sister's, but whatever. <laughs> H&M has really like inexpensive blazers, but they're like made um, pretty well. And so I'll show you guys what that looks like. And this one's kind of a crop blazer. As you can see, it's kind of... Um, rolled up at the sleeves. I'll show you guys a little bit of a closer look. So you don't even have to roll it up, which is kind of nice. And then you can always wear something a little bit longer to pull it down if you don't want your arms to show. Um, whatever you'd like. And I just like it that's kind of like more of a crop blazer and just very like simple and sleek. Now, if you want to experiment with a color in your wardrobe, this is a very popular color now. I just got this from ASOS pretty recently, and this is kind of a lilac color, and I got this as a US 6, which is what I normally wear, and it's still an oversized fit, so if you want it to be a little bit smaller, I'd go down a size, but it is supposed to be, um, it is supposed to be an oversized blazer. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Let me just stick this on. So I'm actually going to show you guys a little trick. I'm going to take the belt off from here. So if you don't like this oversized look and it's like too bulky up here in the shoulders, just not your style, what you can do is actually belt it. So I'm just going to take this belt that I had on previously and take it around. Just belt it and you can obviously do different colors. This is just the one that I had. So move it through. Then you kind of have a more like fitted look to it and it just looks really like chic and nice. You can pull up your sleeves as well. I know there's that TikTok hawk TikTok hawk TikTok hack that you can like put the rubber band there and pull it up, but you can also just simply fold it over, do it the old-fashioned way. And then you kind of have this like it kind of seems like you're wearing a dress, so it's this oversized blazer and it's just a really nice color. If you're not someone who really likes color, I'd experiment with something that's like a pastel color, so it's a little bit more calm and um, it's not overwhelming for you or other people. I also really do like bright colors, um, but this color is really in this season and I just like that it's very like sleek, but this is a way to kind of put it together if you don't like the super, super oversized look because this still looks oversized in comparison to the other blazers that I showed you but um, belting it kind of makes it look all put together. You could do this with a black belt, you could have a white belt, you know, whatever you want. Um, I kind of actually like this with this cheetah print underneath. It's kind of got these cool textures. I like to play around with textures and colors, so this is a nice way to do that. And of course, you can't go wrong with a jean jacket. This one is a thrifted jacket that I got from Ragstock. 
I think back in like 2011 or something so it's been a long time since I've had it it's kept up and this one is a gap jacket and I got it for like a really good price I don't remember how much I got it for it was so long ago but so jean jackets are something that you can thrift really easily and because it's a jean it holds up like very nice material it's still a nice brand and good quality so a jean jacket is a must and the good thing about it is that you can wear it over a white shirt you can wear it over a dress like this I'll show you guys what this looks like and I like that it's kind of a cropped fit so it fits right at my waist and so it has this nice style for it obviously not something that I would button up I'm not that small but um, to just kind of wear it open like this it's just a really cute way to put together and I really highly recommend getting a jean jacket and obviously because the weather is getting colder you want to get yourself some nice sweaters and you don't have to wear hoodies in this season if you want a more put together look something a little bit more chic is getting yourself a nice turtleneck sweater and I also feature this in my ASOS haul so you guys can check that out as well this just looks like really like chic you can kind of take it and I'm looking at my mirror over here so I can actually see what it look like you can take it and kind of put it in your belt like this and it kind of gives you this like nice look to it so now your dress gets changed into a sweater and a skirt so you took one piece and made it into two outfits which is kind of nice and that's what I like about sweaters they're comfortable you can still be warm but still look put together wearing leggings with it these are actually leather leggings and then I'm wearing high socks that I actually took for my husband and then boots so yeah this is actually the matching skirt for the sweater they're both from ASOS but I really like that they actually sell them separately so you can kind of mix and match the sizes if you're bigger at the bottom you can get a bigger size and then the top you can wear smaller which is kind of how I am so this is a bigger size than the top this is an eight and then the top is a six and it's still kind of like a nice like over over um size look to it and then this is the matching skirt as well I'm just going to put it like this so you guys can kind of see the vibe and if you want it to be more matchy matchy you could belt it like this or you could just wear it the way it is wear some boots with it whatever you'd like so another sweater I have is this one it's a little bit more expensive my friend did give it to me so I didn't have to pay anything but it is a cashmere sweater and you can always thrift things you'd be surprised what you can find in thrift stores just read the label make sure that you know what material it is before buying it obviously if it's cashmere it's gonna say that on there and this one's actually from shop up and it's kind of a more um, cropped sweater and that's why it's kind of nice to have those layering shirts so you can wear it underneath here so with this you can also do that same effect too if you want to where you pull it back and put the belt around it you can wear it more of like a loose fit like this if you'd like um, you can wear it with jeans wear it with a skirt and um, it's just really cozy and nice it's obviously a more expensive option versus the ASOS turtleneck. And last but not least for a fall essential that I love having in my closet is a leather jacket. It obviously doesn't have to be real leather, it can be pleather, it can be something that looks like leather. I guess that's what pleather is. This one's from Forever 21 and I got it a while ago as well too. So this one looks like this and it has this like um, nice like rugged look to it. The sleeves are a little bit more puffy and they're actually not leather. They're this kind of, um, I don't know what material this is, but kind of feels like a windbreaker. And it has this belt, so it kind of has this more rugged vibe to it. But it's just really nice to throw on top of dresses, to throw on top of white shirts, with jeans, etc. Kind of how what I've been saying um, before. Very versatile and that's why I think these are staples you should have in your closet for fall. So those are all the items that I wanted to show you guys. Um, let me know below which item you like the best or if you already have that in your closet. What are your favorite fall essentials? These are just the things that I like to have in my closet and pull out whenever the season comes around. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down, whatever. And uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. It's simply Hibba. I'll put that below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And thank you guys again for supporting me if you're already subscribed. And I really appreciate it. And also follow me on Instagram as well. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.